Hey guys, how's it going? So we're gonna be doing another sweet dish today. Um, that cauliflower was so good yesterday. The other half of the cauliflower to use. So maybe we'll come up something, uh, come up with something fun with that. I cannot talk. I apologize. Um, but yeah, so today we're gonna be making some s'mores bars. So it's gonna be similar to the um, like the Lucky Charms bars and the uh, Rice Krispie treats. Same process. Um, but yeah, I, we definitely ate some of the golden grams because they're just so good. So I actually got some graham crackers and we're gonna put that in the mix as well. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys the ingredients. All right guys, so here are our ingredients. So we have our golden graham cereal. Um, I might put some of the graham cra regular graham crackers in with the mix, but it's really gonna be part of the topping. So we're gonna do a half batch. I know last time it was six um, cups total of cereal. Um, I just, I can't be having all of these treats around the house. So we're just gonna do three cups of the golden grams with some of this sprinkled in inside. And then half the bag of marshmallows and about, I think it's a tablespoon and a half of butter. And then we have our chocolate and our M&Ms for garnish. So the first thing we're gonna do is measure out the golden grams. All right, so I have three cups of the golden graham cereal, and then I just crushed up two um, graham crackers to go in here. So the next thing we're gonna do is heat up half of our bag of marshmallows and one and a half tablespoons of butter. All right, so I have our butter melting, and then um, just to put it into perspective, if you ever get a different size bag of marshmallows, there's 10 ounces in this bag, so we're gonna use five ounces um, total. So if you have a scale and you have like bulk marshmallows, please invite me over, that sounds amazing. Um, but we're gonna add half the bag into here once the butter melts more. All right, so I just added our half bag of marshmallows marshmallows so we're gonna go ahead and stir this up and then I don't have like a square 8 by 8 pan so we're just gonna grease um, this pie pan all right so our mixture is about melted so we're gonna go ahead and add it into our bowl with our cereal so all right so we have our marshmallows so we're gonna just mix this up and incorporate it all right so our mixture is all coated with the marshmallow um, it will so we're gonna transfer this into our greased pie our pie plate use an 8 by 8 pan if you have it um, but it helps if we wet the spatula when we want to pat this down just so you guys are aware or you can grease it with vegetable oil all right, so that's all in our pan. We're gonna let this cool for about 20 minutes. All right, so the bars are about cooled, so I went out and um, set aside our garnishes. So I have some M&Ms, which, I mean, it's not really s'mores, but it's chocolate, who cares? Um, some mini marshmallows, crushed up graham crackers, and then we're gonna melt this chocolate. Um, so we're gonna put a splash of vegetable oil in here. There's no moisture in here. We talked about that, like that would seize the chocolate. Um, and we're just gonna microwave this in 30 second intervals. All right, so our chocolate's melted. I'm gonna go ahead and do the first drizzle and drizzle it over top the bars. I um, mean, that's gonna help um, the marshmallows adhere to it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle our marshmallows on while the chocolate is still wet. All right, so we're gonna do another layer of chocolate. So we have the other layer of chocolate. Now we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle our graham crackers and M&Ms. So I sprinkled on the graham crackers. I don't know why I said marshmallows. Um, so we have those all nice, looks good. Now we're gonna sprinkle our M&Ms, looks awesome. And then we'll do one final um, sprinkle of the chocolate. All right, so these are all garnished, so we're gonna let these cool until the chocolate is hardened. All right, so these have chilled down, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut them up. All right, guys, so there are our, there are our, oh my God, s'mores bars, they look awesome. They look insane and delicious. So we have our nice bars, they look really good. Using a round pan was not great to cut these into nice peeling squares, but yeah, these look good. All right, guys, what did you think? I thought that was so good. It kind of looks like a dish that like an eight-year-old would make but eight-year-olds are smart because it looks delicious. Um, but yeah, super simple, easy dish to do. I hope you guys like these kind of quick um, videos because they're ones that are really easy to make, especially in a pinch, and these are so fun to make with kids. I don't have any kids, but I would make it with my nieces and nephews. Um, so thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video if you like it, um, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.